Hey. What are you doing here? I, I, I need to talk to you. Not on my watch! Hello, my loves, and welcome back to my channel. My name is Jasmine, and this is Melodic Swirl. All right, so guys, thanks so much for joining me once again for a Heartstopper reaction. Of course, we are watching season two. We are on episode seven of Heartstopper. Of course, before we dive in, some housekeeping first. For those who are here to do anything other than enjoy the lovely show that Netflix has created for us, and of course to enjoy my time here with me as I enjoy with you guys, then see yourself out. There's the door, goodbye. And for those who are here to enjoy, uh, thank you. And of course, if you're new to the channel, go ahead and smash that subscribe button. And don't forget to turn on your notification bell because you don't want to miss any future uploads. All right, well, so with all of that out of the way, here is Heartstopper Season 2, Episode 7. Back in England, let's get it. Girls, are you awake? It's almost midday. You know Granny would have a heart attack if she knew I was letting your girlfriend sleep over. Granny would have a heart attack if she knew I was a lesbian. That may be true. So I should probably go. But I don't want to. Now he has to make sure that his boyfriend is eating. He got no problems. Oh. <laughs> she got in! Congratulations! You're in a good mood. Yeah. Anything I should cover? Me and Elle decided to get together. <gasps> We haven't talked about actually being boyfriend and girlfriend. <laughs> Go ahead, Mama. Your dad called. He's coming for dinner next week. Dad's coming to visit. So, can we invite Charlie over? Yeah, that's a lovely idea. What, you're joking? Yes, we can invite his parents and his sister and make a proper dinner party out of it. How come Nick gets to invite someone and I don't? Do you have a girlfriend you'd like to invite, David? You should have come. It was really fun. My summer is for sleeping, not visiting all the museums. Yes! Mm -hmm. Get it off your heads! That's just a... We've been invited to Nick's for a dinner party. Wow. Mum will love that. What do you mean? She's not exactly Nick's biggest fan, is she? Maybe this will help her see how great he is. He's not the issue, honey. I think I'm gonna go to prom. Yeah? Yeah. Would you like to, like, be my prom date? Really? I don't know, maybe 
No. No, it's not. We might get a lot of attention. Oh, you will! And I don't want to wear matching suits. Oh, me neither. <laughs> we'll definitely get a lot of attention. Good. Good. <gasps> this one's pretty. Mm. What's the deal with this exhibition thing, anyway? They like your art enough to exhibit it, but they still can't tell you if you've got it. You got in, didn't you? <laughs> don't tell the others. But I don't know how Tao will take it. I just haven't decided yet. Okay. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> you look amazing. Yes, <laughs> you like it. I've got some. She should have just pulled Tao. I hate when that happens. <laughs> Hey, sorry, some man just brought 15 of those penguin cost down for six. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that is like life gold. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm guessing you don't feel the same about me then. I don't know how I'm supposed to feel when I have a crush on someone. You know, I read all these books where people fall in love and I still have absolutely no idea. I thought that I might I feel that way about you. But then we kissed and I just knew that I didn't. Oh. I think there might be something wrong with me. No. There's nothing wrong with you. You probably just haven't found the right person yet. Yeah. Something definitely happened. Did you kiss? Can you guys just shut up? Look, I get that you don't think my life is interesting, unless I have some kind of romantic drama going on, but I'm sorry to break it to you, I don't like him back. Okay? You can all carry on with your day now. No, it just makes me so happy. It just makes me so happy. <laughs> They both deserve it. They both deserve happiness and each other and love and all that. We all do, damn it. Hey, Em. Em, I love your piece. I'm so excited. And I can't wait to see what art you make when you start this in September. Oh, oh my God. God. Oh, so oh, this is why you should have told him. Why you don't be telling people? He wants to be happy for you, but he can't if you don't let him. It's my one. Really? I love it. What's it about? Basically about my experience being aromantic and asexual. Being in a world where romance and sex are prized above everything else when you don't feel those forms of attraction. Growing up, feeling that something about you is different, but you don't have the words to describe what that is. But then, freedom. The euphoria of freeing yourself from those pressures and expectations. That's you. Oh. Sorry. Can <laughs> that's, we just have a peek? That's yeah. emotional, definitely. It will be revealed. Him having the, you know, his awakening, if you will. <laughs> She's so moody. I already told her they were early. Literally nothing I ever did was good enough. Hey, Saha. Hey. Yeah, you look cool. Saha, I didn't know you were coming. Yeah, that was my friend. So you guys can't tease me about being the token ally anymore now that Saha's here. I don't know what you're talking about. I'm bisexual. So... <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> she probably leaves. Well, you still coming to prom tomorrow? Her family life oh, is God. not good. That's like so evident, so clear. We just haven't seen it yet, but that's what the that smoke screen, the purple smoke when she was going home. To celebrate the incredible queer and trans artists we have here at the lab. It's my great pleasure to introduce Elle Argent, who will be joining us in September for her sixth form studies. So, 
There have been a lot of changes in my life over the last couple of years, but with this piece, I guess I wanted to capture a place that holds a lot of happy memories, even in the darker times. Somewhere I always felt safe. Oh, it's beautiful. Let's have a look. One, two, three. Oh. <laughs> I really liked it. It was amazing. As you should. It was beautiful. I know you're probably annoyed that I didn't tell you I got in. I'm not annoyed. Ready? <sighs> All I care about is you being happy, and wherever you are, I'll, I'll still want to be with you. But I also still haven't decided yet. I may still stay at Higgs. Whatever you decide, just make sure you're doing it for you, babe. That's it. Oh, God. Cut the cameras. Dead ass. Hey. What are you doing here? I, I, I need to talk to you. Not on my watch! There's nothing to talk about. I just want to apologize. Properly. Please, just hear me out. I'm not going back to Truem for sex form, so... If you really hate me after this... You'll never see me again. I'm a messed up person, Charlie. Tell us something we don't know. I liked you. You know what? It was a piece of shit. I really liked you. If we just had more time. I want to be like you two. But my parents would never accept who I really am. I'm sorry for everything. I just wanted something good. You were something good. Do you remember the first time you kissed me? You didn't even ask. You didn't pause to wonder whether it was what I wanted. And I went along with it because I had a crush and I didn't know any better. I didn't realise that you had all the control. When I eventually did realise, I thought, this must be what I deserve. Someone taking whatever he wants from me whenever he wants. Treating me like I'm nothing the rest of the time. And now whenever anything good happens in my life, there's a little voice in the back of my mind telling me I'm worthless. And I don't deserve it. And now you want me to forgive you so you can feel better about yourself. I'm glad you realised what you did was wrong, but you don't get to ambush me into forgiving you. Sorry doesn't make up for everything you did to me. So relatable. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's got me crying again. I really hope you become a better person so you don't hurt anyone else. But I don't want to be there to see that happen. I don't want to see you ever again. He does have to feel the gravity of what he did. He does. He does. Whatever happens, happens. He needed to feel that though, for sure. Do we need to pretend to be a platonic BFF in so front of your dad? Yeah, maybe just for now. But I'm gonna tell him about us tonight. You can do it. I'm here for you, mate. Uh, you did not just call me mate. Pal. <laughs> Bro. Supportive straight friend. So. Daz, we're home. Ah, uh, Nick. Et ton ami, um... Charlie. Yeah, Charlie. You guys should come and join us. Look, it's Toulouse and Montpellier. Look at that, look at that. Let's go. See, I told you. Come on, come on, come on. Yeah. Girl, his brother could get it, honey. Oh, she's taking it. Oh, you are a good boy. He doesn't have to know, sweetheart. He's got no right to know. You don't owe him a thing. I'm not doing it for him. Doing it for me. Hey, I, 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 period. And that's how you do it. I grew up in the south of France. Near Narbonne? Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, very near Spain, from my father's room. But your surname is so English. <laughs> yeah, well, um, he always said that we had a rather complicated family tree. So. <laughs> family tree story is a long story. Yeah. <laughs> Do you visit often, Stefan? My job, it keeps me very busy. 
I'm in property development. Insane. Work isn't everything, you know. Although the pay does help. <laughs> Dad, has Nick told you how he met Charlie? Yeah, no, he hasn't. Um, we got sat together in school and then Charlie joined the rugby team. Oh, you play rugby, Charlie? Uh, I'm not very good. And Nick was obsessed with getting Charlie to join. Wonder why. Shut up! What is your problem? I played rugby when I was in university. It's a very attractive sport to women. Here How we go. Have you boys find girlfriends? Here we go. We knew it was coming. Yeah, I'm not sure Nick's too interested in looking for girlfriends, really. Don't you dare. What was the reason? What was the reason? I know, that's right. Be respectful, please, the table. We have guests. Why do you always do this? I'm just trying to help. Dad. Charlie's my boyfriend. Surprise. I'm bi. He's gay. And I was actually really stressed out about how I was going to tell you. But you know what? I don't care what you think about it anymore. Because you don't care to even see us more than two times a year. And you know, every time I do see you, I always think, this is it. This is the time when you might actually take an interest in my life. You never do. So if you don't care, then... And I don't know why you're acting like you are 10 years old. But your bullying just doesn't affect me anymore because quite simply, I do not care. I like who I am. I like my life. Maybe you should stay with Dad next time. I'm just gonna Period. let him speak to us like that. Oh, David, be quiet. We've heard quite enough from you, thank it's you. It's Nick that's making a scene. Always causing a fuss. Dad agrees. You're not growing up into the men I had hoped you would be, David. You barely see your children. Come on, can I can't say something. No, you can't say anything. You haven't heard that my You okay? I actually think I am. I didn't mean for it to happen that way, but I'm. I gotta, I gotta I clean up. Say it. I'm just, I'm a mess again. Do you want a hug anyway? Well, that went well. Sorry. Well, I'm pleased you said what you said, especially to your dad. You needed to hear it. I he's love him. Good mom. dad, is he? <laughs> no, he's not. I just don't care. I wish I understood, but I don't. I think it's a very sad way to exist. Reminds me of my dad. Ladies, this is why you need to be careful who you lay down with. This is why. Leaving then? Yeah. Nika, I'm sorry. I, I want to be better. So then, then just say it. Dad, uh, you you going? Yeah. Got to head into London before it gets too late. Call me when you get back to Edinburgh. Huh? Glasgow. Oh yeah, Glasgow. Yeah. <laughs> I don't really understand these things, but it seems like a very nice young man. There's nothing to understand. It's a yes. relationship. <laughs> People make it so complicated. Why? Yeah. Drama Queen boyfriend's influence. <laughs> Mate, well, exactly. That's it. You are a pathetic little man. Talk about my brother like that again, and I'll end you. Die! 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 Period! Fuck it up, sis! I'm really sorry about all the drama. Oh. We are very used to drama in our house. Yeah. <laughs> it takes a lot for Nick to stand up to David like that. He must care for Charlie very deeply. You okay? Yeah, yeah. He's a nice boy. When he's not distracting you from your coursework. And maybe we could have him and Sarah around in a few weeks? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay, Mom. All right. We like that. We appreciate it. Just gonna say goodbye. Maybe she was just being overprotective. So, 
Pearl and Samara? Yeah. Mr. Green together? Yeah. Like? Together, together. Yeah, don't you want to? That's why this show is so good. Sure, I didn't eat very much. Oh no. I didn't eat it all. I didn't eat it all. Like, that's a. Uh, that's not good. Yeah, he does. He's, he's developed an eating disorder. Wow, that ending just gave me the chills. Well, only one more episode to go. It's the prom episode. It's when everything's coming to an head. We'll see how it ends and sets up for season three. Whew, it's, it's, this, this season has definitely been emotional. The first season was very uh, whimsical. Uh, still, I think, uh, dipped in realism for sure. But this season is just heavy. Heavy, heavy, heavy. But um, a lot of it's been good heavy. So that's good. Um. Cut the cameras. Dead ass. I hope you guys are enjoying it with me. Hope you're getting as emotional as I am. <laughs> uh, story of my life. But thank you so much for watching it with me, you guys. Uh, if you're new to the channel, hopefully you'll stick around and hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to turn on your notification bell so that you don't miss any future uploads. And of course, I will catch you on the next video. Bye.